Hi, I am Lalit Vasist and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. In this video lecture, I will discuss the superposition theorem. We will deal with the theoretical concepts, it's a statement of this theorem and uh, we will also solve a problem that will help you in getting the concept of superposition theorem clear. So let's start uh, with the statement but uh, before uh, telling you the formal definition uh, I would like to tell you uh, what is a superposition theorem in uh, simple words. If I have a network and it contains uh, several sources, these uh, sources may be the current sources or voltage sources and I wanted to calculate uh, either current or voltage in any branch of that circuit. Then what I can, uh, what can I do? I can calculate the current or voltage in any branch of that circuit by taking only one individual source at a time and making another source inoperative and after that uh, taking them uh, dealing with them individually I can add the responses algebraically to find the combined effect of these uh, uh, several sources uh, to calculate uh, the combined current or voltage in that branch. So I think uh, you got the point of superposition and now I will uh, tell you the formal definition of this uh, superposition theorem. In an active linear network that contains uh, several sources, these sources may be dependent sources also, the overall response, the response means the branch current or voltage in any branch in the network is equal to the algebraic sum of the responses of each individual source considered separately okay with all the other sources made inoperative it means replacing them with their internal resistances or impedances while uh, uh, inoperating making the sources inoperative we mean that we remove that source and just replace that source with the internal resistance or impedance of that source. So I will tell you how to make a source inoperative. Okay, here we will learn it. To make a source uh, inoperative, it is first short circuited, leaving behind its internal resistance or impedance if it is a voltage source. In case of a voltage source, we just remove that source and we will replace that uh, voltage source with its internal resistance or impedance. Okay, and but if it is a current source, then we will remove that uh, source and we will uh, replace it with its internal resistance or impedance. But it is written here, but if it is a current source, then it is open circuited. Okay leaving behind its internal resistance or impedance in this case it is short circuited and here it is open circuited okay we will see how it uh, how it takes place uh, with the help of an example okay so let's uh, see the example first so here our problem is calculate current in the branch with uh, 1 ohm resistor this i want to calculate this current i okay in this 1 ohm resistor branch with the help of superposition theorem so see the diagram here this is the diagram here i have two voltage sources uh, 10 volt and 5 volts and uh, these uh, three resistances of 2 3 and 1 ohm and i want to calculate this current i okay and that is passing through this 1 ohm resistor so if i don't know the superposition theorem then i can use the kc i can use the kvl and uh, and other methods to calculate uh, their effect uh, of these to calculate the current in these uh, in this branch uh, with the help of uh, these two voltage sources simultaneously but i want to use the superposition theorem so i will use the superposition theorem by making any one source at a time i will use only one source uh, at a time and will make uh, the another source inoperative so how to do this let's see here first it is written here that first make any voltage source inoperative and calculate current through one ohm resistor with that source only and then do the same with other voltage source and then add the individual currents due to single voltage sources okay okay so let's see 
so here you can see here we had the 5 volt source okay i have short circuited it okay i am making it inoperative as i told you if it is a uh, voltage source then we will short circuit that and it's a, since its internal resistance or impedance was zero so there is nothing to be connected here okay so it has been short circuited now it's a simple problem and i want to calculate the current it1 this total current okay so you can see here that this 3 and uh, 1 ohm are in cd uh, in uh, parallel as uh, voltage is same voltage difference is same so 3 and 1 ohm are in c in parallel and this 2 ohm is in series with this combination so these two in parallel and 2 and you can see that 3 and 1 ohm in parallel means r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 and plus the series you know it all so i don't think i need to tell this all 11 by 4 ohm and so the current it1 is equals to i is v by r so v is 10 volts here and the combined resistance the equivalent resistance of this network is 11 by 4 so divide v by r r is 11 by 4 so it comes out to be 40 by 11 amperes okay now i have this it1 current here now by the current division method i know that i dash current in this branch would be since current at this point is uh, it1 and it divides into these two branches and with the current uh, division theorem i know that uh, i1 i sorry i dash is equals to the total current that is 40 by 11 multiplied by current in this branch divided by the total sorry the current in this um, resistance of this branch divided by the total resistance so the net current okay multiplied by the this resistance divided by the total resistance so 3 divided by 3 plus 1 this comes comes out to be 30 by 11 amperes so i have got the i dash current this i dash is due to only 10 volt source okay now i will do the same with the help of uh, another voltage source 5 volt source and will calculate this current through the one ohm resistor and will call it i double dash i have shorted it and uh, uh, all the things are same i have replaced it with zero internal resistance its uh, resistance is uh, internal resistance was zero so there is nothing to add here it has been shorted and i will just calculate this uh, the net uh, uh, the r equivalent in this case two and one in a parallel and 3 is in series with this so it comes out to be 11 by 3 ohm okay and this uh, i t2 this total current would be 5 okay v by r v by r equivalent 5 divided by 11 by 3 11 by 3 is the combined resistance of all these three so 11 by 3 comes out to be 15 by 11 amperes now with the current division theorem I can uh, calculate this uh, current I double dash as I have uh, done with the previous case with another voltage source. So I double dash is equals to since this is I double dash okay and this is I T2 okay I T2 divides into these two branches. So current in this branch would be equals to the total current that is 15 by 11 multiplied by the resistance of this branch divided by the sum of these resistances 2 divided by 2 plus 1 so it comes uh, 10 by 11 amperes so now i know the i dash and i double dash currents these are the currents due to different voltage sources taken separately in this branch okay so the net current would be i is equals to i dash plus i double dash so it was 30 by 11 plus 10 by 11 so it comes uh, 40 by 11 amperes with the help of superposition theorem so i think it's uh, clear and in the next video we will discuss uh, another network theorems like uh, milliman's theorem intelligence uh, theorem and uh, maximum power theorem kcl kvl and so on so keep watching my channel engineering made easy Friends, for more such videos, you can uh, subscribe my channel, Engineering Made 
easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it see you soon in the next video till then bye bye